For 22 year old Sham, life was always about facing challenges. He had to stop his education after fourth class due to the limited resources of his family and got engaged in a family owned business. But the income was never sufficient for the family. He enrolled himself in a vocational training course to be an AC mechanic. I have a lot of people who are in the house. I have a lot of people who are in the house. I have a lot of Raj Kumari, Anuradha, and Premalata, three sisters from Varanasi, had no other option than to stop going to school and support the family of 12 members along with their mother. Their brother was the only earning member of the family with a monthly income of Rs. 3000. The three sisters successfully completed beautician training course but remained unemployed. Young people in India today are facing the changing realities of globalization. The new economy has opened the world of opportunities for them, but very few can utilize them optimally due to the lack of technical skills and life skills. The problem that we're finding in the development sector when we look at this issue is that what the youth have to offer at this point by way of skill base and education is simply not what the industry is looking for. And the reason for this is both the poor quality of education that we have in our system currently and the large dropout rates. Industry is ready to take up the youth and train them on, spe uh, you know, on specific skill bases and service areas. But what they want is they want youth to be workplace ready. One such initiative was carried out by Minority Education for Growth and Advancement, Skills for Youth. Mega Sky is made possible through support from the United States Agency for International Development, is implemented by Education Development Center and the International Youth Foundation, Quest Alliance, was responsible for designing and managing the pilot intervention of Life Skills Training Program. They implemented Life Skills Training Program for the beneficiaries of Jan Shikshan Sansthan. The main objective of Jan Shikshan Sansthan is to provide uh, vocational literacy, rather you can say uh, uh, technical and vocational skills for the electorates, new electorates and the dropouts. अभी तक हम लोग सोचते थे जो हम ट्रेनिंग दे दिया और उससे चीजें जो है बन गई और सीखना चाहे सीखे चाहे ना सीखे ये हमने अपने ड्यूटी किया और उसके बाद हम उसके पीछे नहीं पड़ते थे लेकिन ये एक जो बात आई कि हमारे बच्चे ने जो ट्रेनिंग लिया क्या वो इंस्पायर हुए क्या वे वर्क प्लेस पर गए क्या उनको जो है उसका जो बेनिफिट बेनिफिट मिला नहीं मिला so while visiting government programs across the country and spending time with these young people uh, we noticed that they were uh, really learning quite well uh, with the technical skill development that was taking place in these programs. However, uh, they really uh, lacked the confidence, the goals and a sense of identity which really helps them succeed in life. Uh, which is where we felt that there's a tremendous value of having a focused life skills program for these youth. The pilot project of life skills training program was implemented at 30 JSS centers across four states, Rajasthan, Delhi, Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. The life skills training program reached out to approximately 2,000 beneficiaries. The program consists of four processes. One, developing an ICT-based self-learning tool, the Digital Life Skills Toolkit or DLST for the facilitators. The toolkit has uh, four uh, parts to it. One is a CD which mainly has the digital uh, content and the digital lessons. There is a facilitator manual which gives the lesson plans in a more structured way which the facilitator refers to uh, before preparation uh, for a class. There is something called a facilitator journal book which uh, is mainly meant uh, for facilitator to uh, you know, think and reflect on what he learned about various topics or how he thinks uh, the various topics have been delivered or how his classes went. And uh, the fourth part is the student workbook which is uh, given to the students and after they uh, complete a class, they reflect on various questions in order to see that what they've learned in that lesson. As the second process of the program, 
an intensive four-day training session was undertaken for program officers and assistant program officers from the 30 JSS centers to enhance their understanding of life skills and how the same should be delivered to the beneficiaries at JSS. It was evident that there was a need for continuous and ongoing support for facilitators to understand life skills. It is not possible for us to get them in a three or four day training program and expect them to reflect and internalize on all these concepts. Uh, which is why we felt that a tool which can provide them ongoing support and uh, continuous uh, knowledge and refreshment on the concepts will really be effective in uh, enabling this process of delivery uh, at a reasonable cost, maintaining a quality as well as something that really scales. The way uh, the Digital Life Skills Toolkit has been structured is that it's got two parts to it. The first part is what do I learn about the topic? The facilitator along with his co-facilitator goes to the toolkit uh, and sees all the stories, roles, game, uh, games, all of that uh, in a collaborative way and uh, reflect and discuss. And then they move on to the next part which is how do I teach the lesson to the students part where uh, uh, the lesson plans are given and also the methodology of how each component has to be delivered to the students is given. 3. Delivering the life skills to the beneficiaries After the training program, facilitators were ready to deliver the life skills training to the beneficiaries in the class. <laughs> ज्यादा का जो कंसेप्ट है आपका डिस्ट्रिक्ट का कि मैत्री भाव दोस्ताना व्यवहार और टू वे कन्वर्सेशन तो इसका लाभ बहुत अच्छा रहा और बच्चों ने तो अद्भुत तरीके से रिस्पांस किया द प्रोग्राम वाज मॉनिटर्ड बाय ट्रेनिंग सपोर्ट ऑफिसर्स इन एवरी स्टेट दीस ऑफिसर्स आल्सो प्रोवाइडेड सपोर्ट टू द जीएसएस फैसिलिटेटर्स इन इफेक्टिव डिलीवरी ऑफ ट्रेनिंग टू द बेनिफिशियरीज Regular visits were undertaken by the monitoring team to keep track of the progress with the help of simple tools like action plan mapping and in class observation forms. Monitoring basically hum log dekhte hain ki class kaise chal rahi hai aur DLST ka pura jo curriculum hai usme jo har ek topic ka jo usme sab topics hain jo sessions hain wo properly ho rahe hain ki nahi ho rahe hain. To have an independent viewpoint of the implementation of this project, this project was evaluated by a team of experts who have a rich experience in designing life skill curriculum and evaluating life skill program. You will now hear some of the experiences from the field. अपने पैर पे खड़ा हो सकती हूँ 
हम बाद में तक पढ़े थे तो लग नहीं था कि हाँ नहीं पढ़ पाएंगे लेकिन अब इस क्लास लेने के बाद लगा हाँ ओपन क्लास ओपन स्कूल से दसवीं करे कुछ आगे करे लाइफ स्कूल क्लास करने मतलब जो लड़कियाँ मतलब घुट के जी रही वो खुल के जी सकती हैं जो हम लोग को मतलब जैसे क्लास मतलब ऑफिस में आते थे तो बच्चे देख के धीरे में इधर उधर सड़क जाते थे अब लेकिन अब उनको जब हम लोग तीन महीने उनके साथ रहे हैं तो एक मित्रता हो गई है अब कहीं भी मिलती है सर नमस्कार देखिए वो हमारे वाले सर जा रहे थे जी ने हमको भी अपनी पहचान दी है